What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, we have a glove controversy on our hands as everybody's ramping and uh, talking about undefeated three division world champion, former junior welterweight, undisputed world champion, currently the reigning WBO welterweight world champion, who is widely considered by many to be the number one best pound for pound fighter in the world. And Terrence Bud Crawford. Terrence Crawford is now 39 wins, no losses, no draws, 30 big wins by way of knockout. He is 35 years of age, five foot eight with a 74 inch arm reach. With that said, he took on Armenian, Russian, welterweight star title contender David Avenesian with BOKPrime.com, right? And uh, this was a fight. Terrence Crawford made his ring return after 13 month layoff and in this fight at the end of the fifth round going into the sixth round Terrence Crawford's gloves they tore right his thumb on both gloves and the sides on both gloves it ripped and many people are saying that you know um Terrence Crawford was cheating he tampered with his gloves now many people are comparing this to that of Two-time heavyweight world champion, former unified heavyweight world champion, currently the reigning WBC World Boxing Council heavyweight world champion, British superstar boxer Tyson the Gypsy King Fury, and his gloves scandal and issue when he took on Olympic bronze medalist, former WBC American heavyweight world champion, superstar boxer Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder. And it's completely different. And I know people are saying, well, it's the same thing. No. It's not. And in this video, I'm going to explain to you, oddly enough, this is the sixth round. It was going into the sixth round and Terrence Crawford brutally knocks out David Avenesian in this sixth round. Right. And now I'm going to explain to you the difference. And just for YouTube purposes and copyright purposes, I am a paid partner and uh, partner and promoter with BLK Prime. So. I essentially own the rights to this video. So with that said, uh, it's different, right? Uh, Terrence Crawford has a manufacturing issue with his gloves. Tyson Fury had one glove, which was his left glove, his lead hand glove in the first fight with Deontay Wilder that was extended and it was flapping and you could see his fist in the wrist area you can see the knuckles in the wrist area of his gloves, okay? You can see the knuckles in the wrist area, which means his gloves was pulled up or pulled, yes, pulled up, okay? And then in the second fight, you can see his entire knuckle print, the entire knuckle print in his gloves in the left glove, right? Okay. So with that said, he uses his lead hand to blind you, to the to uh, distract you. And then he follows through with the right hand, the, the left glove. He already has extremely long arms at 85 inch arms. So then he extends his glove slightly and it makes it about 86 inches and he flaps it and flips it in your face and it distracts you. OK, it blinds you. Then he comes behind it with the right hand. In the second fight. In the right glove, excuse me, I made a mistake. I said the left glove in the second fight. In the second fight, it was the right glove. You can see the knuckle print in his right glove, his complete knuckle print in the right glove. In the case of Terrence Crawford, <clears throat> you cannot see the knuckle print in the knuckle area. This was a manufacturer issue. And I saw people saying I never even seen Terrence Crawford gloves meaning that these were his own special pair of gloves. That is false. These were Everlast gloves. You can clearly see Everlast on the top. Terrence Crawford gloves, they busted in the same place on both gloves, which means, and that's a clear indication, that is not tampering, okay? That is a manufacturer issue that is doing the same thing on both gloves. The thumb and the, and the sides of both gloves. Terrence Crawford, the padding was coming out the side of his glove. 
and the thumb. Terrence Crawford didn't hit David Avenesian, as you look in this video, with the side of his glove. He didn't thumb him in his eyes. He hit him full-fledged right on the button with his knuckles. So when people are trying to compare this to the same thing, it is not the same thing. And it's amazing to me that we didn't see all this outrage when it was Tyson Fury. There was a, a, a specific group of people, myself included, that was raising awareness to Tyson Fury gloves. And now suddenly, everybody has an issue with Terrence Crawford's gloves. But again, like I said, it's a manufacturer issue with Everlast. And another thing is that you can clearly hear the referee when she brings him over to the commission and she says, we're going to switch the gloves at the end of this round. We're going to finish this round because it already started. And then at the end of this round, we're going to make sure we switch the gloves. And as you can see, there's a there's a one of the promoters that's telling talking to the Boston Commission in the back and they're going to it. They're indicating to go to the back to get the other pair of gloves. OK, so if people are saying that T Terrence Crawford cheated, that's not the case. OK, that's completely not the case at all whatsoever. OK, and so you can see right here she's um, she's uh, um, directing. David Avenesian to the neutral corner right there. She's telling Terrence Crawford right here. They want to see your gloves. She's walking him over. Watch this now. Right. She walks Terrence Crawford over and she's saying they want to see your gloves. OK, they're checking Terrence Crawford gloves. Uh, you don't know. I don't want to uh, highlight who the promoter is. Maybe they don't want to be seen, but that's the commission. They're checking Terrence Crawford gloves. They're looking at Terrence Crawford's gloves. OK, now, uh, uh, as they're checking the gloves right here, she says at the end of the round, I'm going to let you hear the audio. She says at the end of this round, we're going to uh, switch the gloves. It just happened so it didn't get to the end of this round because Terrence Crawford put David Avenesian out before we got to the end of the round, to the next, to in between the sixth and the seventh round. Okay. So as I stated in the background, if you pay close attention and you slow this video down, you can see them still talking in the background which lets you know that they're getting ready to switch his gloves. And even Antonio Tarver, whom I was sitting next to, uh, was talking to Terrence Crawford's corner, and he was saying that somebody has to hurry up and go get his other pair of gloves, which somebody was heading to the back to get the other pair of gloves to make the switch. Okay, again, it was a manufacturer issue with the gloves. Tyson Fury left glove was flapping around, and his right glove, in the second fight, because you can see the knuckle print. This is a situation where Terrence, Glo Terrence Crawford's gloves, the right and the left, busted in the same place on both gloves. The thumbs and the sides busted at the same time. Again, that's not tampering. That's a manufacturer issue. So I know that there's people that just want to uh, uh, find any reason and, and uh, excuse to put blame on Terrence Crawford. This is his 10th knockout in a row. You've never seen any of his gloves. Uh, look suspect in any of those knockouts. Once again, this is his tenth night knockout in a row. And if he was if he was tampering with his gloves, he wouldn't tamper with the sides where it's going to bust wide open and the whole world can see. And he wouldn't tamper with the thumb where it's going to bust wide open and the whole world can see. If you're going to tamper with the gloves, right, it would be the knuckle area to give you an advantage. What advantage is Terrence Crawford going to have? Okay, with the thumb area busted. And the, and, the, and the sides of his glove busted, okay? That's not going to help him uh, get a knockout when he's hitting you cleanly with the knuckle area and the, the meat of the glove, okay? He knocked out David Avenesian with the meat of the glove. He's not thumbing David Avenesian. He's not blinding him with the, with, the, with the flapping glove. It's a completely different scenario and situation. This is a manufacturer issue with Everlast. Once again, and for the people that are saying, i never seen Terrence Crawford with his own pair of gloves. No, they say Everlast, Everlast on the gloves, and they happen to say Terrence Crawford's branding his name on the gloves. They're custom gloves, like uh, many people have, custom gloves, period. Yeah, come on. 
His gloves Cameron. ripped, I saw earlier, and I didn't see oh. anything. Yeah, both of the gloves Cameron. ripped. Oh, man. I thought it was the color when I saw it over here They're in the last busted. round. I didn't want to say anything, but the glove bust on the other side. Oh, wow. Wow, yeah, fight. you can see the padding coming out. Yeah. I didn't want to be wrong, but I'm like, I look like the glove opened. We do this <laughs> round and go and get that one. Are we going to do this so round and get that one? Both gloves. So as you can hear, she says, we're going to get through this round, and then we're going to put on the other pair of gloves. You can clearly hear her say, they both pairs of gloves ripped. They both ripped in the same exact place and the thumb area and then on the sides of the gloves. You can clearly hear the referee informing the boxing commission that we're going to switch gloves at the end of this round. OK, and that both gloves have ripped and tore in the same area on both gloves in the thumbs on both gloves and on the sides of both gloves, which is a issue with manufacturing, not tampering. So there you have it. So that's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue. Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. You haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon and get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All in one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire LDBC. Shout out to Black Media Row. Make sure you like and share the videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace. Alicia Bumgarner, you're watching Blue Bud Sports TV. Wow.